Hello and welcome to this session, Google Cloud Cortex Framework Data Foundation for SAP and beyond. I'm Danielle Brannan, a Solution Manager in Google Cloud Cortex Framework, and I'm joined by my colleague, Lucia Subathan, a Technical Lead for Cortex Framework. We're excited today to tell you about how we can help innovate and accelerate use cases, leveraging the best of Google Cloud and our data and analytics technologies. But before we get started, let's talk a little bit about what Google Cloud Cortex Framework is. At a high level, Google Cloud Cortex Framework is about accelerating insights and outcomes for specific business challenges. We want to make innovation repeatable and scalable for our customers. And this is taking the best of our innovation experience, working across industry, the best of our technology building blocks, and combining and creating a new approach to accelerate rapid insights by providing reference architectures, deployment accelerators, and integration services. In short, Google Cloud Cortex Framework is about helping you get there faster, reducing your risk, complexity, and cost, accelerating your outcomes, and doing it on a launch pad of innovation and future-focused technologies. By combining the best of your enterprise technologies like SAP, Google technologies, and partner technologies, we're making sure that we have a scenario approach to help you achieve more. Let's look at one such example and scenario that's top of mind for customers, data and analytics. Our customers are telling us that breaking down data silos is priority number one to help unlock insights and compete in the market. They're also telling us that predictive and real-time information is critical to their organization's ability to do business better and to achieve more actionable insights. And finally, having the availability of insights for everyone across the organization is key to help accelerate business outcomes. All of this leads to helping to innovate and do things faster and provide more value. This is key. So how can we help you get there faster? Well, this is really what Google Cloud Cortex is about. And we're helping in the data and analytics space specifically with our Cortex Data Foundation. At a high level, Google Cloud Cortex Framework Data Foundation is about taking data sets across your organization, enterprise data sets like SAP data, along with other data sets, perhaps Google Trends or ads data, and non or public information like industry uh, and other use cases into a consolidated platform. This platform is BigQuery, our scalable serverless cloud data warehouse. And we're helping you get there faster with the best of Google technology as well as partner solutions to accelerate rapid, real-time, and fresh data integration into a consolidated platform. The Cortex Data Foundation then provides content to help you get quickly started with data modeling for specific business scenarios. And we'll go into the specific solutions on offer in a moment. We're also providing a Cortex application layer which helps you more easily expose and consume insights across your business in a secure and microservices-based approach. Again, we'll drill into the details soon. Let's talk a little bit first about what our Google Cloud Cortex Data Foundation offers. At a high level, we're providing predefined data marts for BigQuery for SAP ERP data modeling so that you don't have to focus on doing the joins just to combine data sets like your line item or header data. We're also providing processing scripts that help automate things like change data capture processing and hierarchy resolution, which is really complicated in many scenarios. And we're providing sample machine learning templates and dashboards to help you get started with the best of Google visualization as well as AI and ML capability. All of this is leveraged and automated with sample data sets to help you get started faster. And for the application layer, we're providing templates to help expose and consume that securely. The idea is to deploy quickly, saving you guesswork, time, and effort, and cost. Let's drill into some of the solutions that are possible and what we're solving for with the Cortex Data Foundation and content. At a high level, we're providing two key scenarios and areas of focus, line of business solutions, as well as industry solutions. By enabling predefined content for each area, we're helping to solve for more. In the financial analytics space, for example, helping you get rapid insights on accounts receivables, order receivables, day sales outstanding, and doubtful receivables. And from the order cash perspective, order fulfillment, sales performance, billing and pricing, and more. 
But we don't want to just create another place to do SAP reporting. We want to make sure that you can combine with the best of Google technology data sets and AIML to get more insight. This is where our industry solutions start to differentiate and help you to achieve even more. By combining data sets like weather, trends, ads information, and predictive capabilities, you can solve for things like demand shaping or being able to understand and predict different impacts on your demand plan through alerts and predictive forecasting and capabilities. Also, things like customer delivery risk prediction will help you understand your on-time and in-full deliveries as well as to predict how to better optimize them. These are just some of the use case samples that we have today and we'll be delivering over the coming weeks. And we're looking to expand beyond SAP and these initial sets of data and insights to achieve more throughout the year, so stay tuned. But let's drill in and see an example of what sort of content is available today. I'll hand over to Lucia to walk you through at a high level some of our operational analytics templates available today, as well as a quick deep dive at what's available in BigQuery itself. Over to you, Lucia. Thank you, Danielle, and hi, everybody. So I'm super excited to be sharing the new additions that we have in this second release. So of course, you probably know that all of this is based on a data foundation that is deployed on BigQuery. So we get all of the goodness and, and the best performance possible out of BigQuery with these models that we are including and you can see out of the box. So such as in the first release, we have the ability to process the data that it can be streaming into BigQuery through any of the tools that Danielle has mentioned before. Uh, one of them is the BigQuery SLT Real Time Connector. We provide out of the box the ability to process the changes coming from those streaming tools if you need them uh, with the CDC processing, as well as the ability to read and scan those results in real time to get real time insights if your replication tool supports that. Of course, after we have the foundation in place and we have tables which have the latest version of the truth in BigQuery. We want to make the most out of it. And in this second release, we have added more models to the original models that process uh, master data and transactions. And some of these models are getting consumed in new Looker blocks that you can deploy from the Looker marketplace. Examples of these Looker blocks, as Danielle was saying, we have additional blocks for order to cash and one additional block for finance. An example of the order to cash here is order fulfillment. So we've been getting all of your comments from customers and partners on what is important and what we should be prioritizing first. So this, are, this is the result of that feedback that we have received from you. We have performance of deliveries if they have been delivered on time, if they have been delivered in full, because we know this is important to keep, uh, our, of course, our customers, customers happy. And another example of the finance blocks is uh, accounts receivables. Of course, all of these reports that you see here and the KPIs are tied to the data foundation. The data foundation is feeding off your own data coming from SAP and other sources. And all of this you can modify both in SAP and customize as well as in the foundation in BigQuery and in Looker. One of the things I am most excited about in this second release is that we have all of this available for anybody to go in and take for a spin and try themselves even with test data uh, available in our Git repository. So the data foundation is something that we feel can really benefit from all the inputs from both partners and customers out there that are doing great things with BigQuery and are already uh, doing great things with Cortex. So we wanted to give uh, everybody a channel and a way to communicate with us and provide us feedback and deploy it without any barriers. So I am super excited to show that we now have the data foundation available on GitHub with updated instructions, including two videos on how you can deploy this yourself. And if you do not have um, something to replicate data, we also include the ability to replicate uh, your data using um, test data that will create your own tables for you to play and see what the models look like. 
Another thing that Danielle was mentioning today and I'm super excited about is the application layer. So we'll talk a little bit more about the application layer and what it is, but the application layer is something that will be deployed through the Google Marketplace. The main reason to do that and not do this through open source is that we want to make sure that all of the best practices for reliability engineering and cloud nativeness and all of the goodness that we know from our own Google uh, experience is embedded in this experience and the deployment for the application layer. So let me tell you a little bit more about what the application layer is. In the application layer in this first release of it, we are considering two possible scenarios that are the possible scenarios in which microservices and cloud native applications communicate. And we're also considering that some applications may not be cloud native, but we're also given the possibility to integrate with those applications. So these two ways is one is a synchronous communication through an HTTP endpoint, uh, an API. And the other one is through PubSub or the ability to publish and subscribe events. So examples of how you would use this or what is possible is basically the sky is the limit in this case. With a synchronous endpoint, you may be able to give your users, your business users, the ability to build their own low code applications, but base those out of a robust backend that provides them, for example, levels of stock or the current um, KPI that matters the most for them in finance, for example, and this is something that will be available and for synchronous responses. Uh, this is also important when, for example, you're creating master data in one of your enterprise systems and you want to include the result of a model in machine learning or something that has been computed by BigQuery, so your synchronous endpoint will give you that response straight away. On the other hand, you have a PubSub. PubSub enables this ability to not have a synchronous response, but it does guarantee that the message will be delivered. And at the same time, it enables you to do broadcasting. So one example or one request that some of the customers that have been interacting with us in the context of the Cortex framework is when you want to publish a new shipping point or a new address for your several couriers that uh, carry or deliver your products for you. So PubSub allows you to publish this message and each of the individual couriers with their own technologies can come in and get that message in their languages of choice, with their technologies of choice and at their own pace. So hopefully you're excited about this as I am and we'll get more feedback from you. Thanks, Lucia. So let's go ahead and look at the Google Cloud Cortex Framework Data Foundation again. At a high level, we saw that there's various data sets and data models available in our data foundation to help you get started quickly. Uh, we have a number of templates and Google solutions already available today, and we have a brand new Cortex application layer. Um, one of the other things about the Google Cloud Cortex framework is that it's an open platform and we're working with our partners to bring even more additional accelerators and innovation and technology capabilities. One example of a great partner solution is our partner Palantir, who are offering their Palantir Foundry capability on Google Cloud. Using Palantir Foundry, you can connect to not only SAP data, but other data sources like Salesforce and Oracle to quickly and rapidly integrate data, harmonize it, provide data quality rules, and to drive operational decisions and outcomes. Palantir offer a variety of templates to help you get started quickly for specific business scenarios, and they integrate into our Cortex Data Foundation platform. So they can not only feed the platform itself, but also help you rapidly get new insights and achieve business outcomes. What kind of outcomes are possible with Palantir solution? Well, at a high level, Palantir Foundry helps you enable operational decision making across your different lines of business and across industry. Take, for example, marketing. If you're running a marketing campaign, you can combine data across your organization with other data sets and use Palantir's templates to help increase response rates and accuracies. Procurement and operations is another great example. By leveraging different desperate potential ERP systems and consolidating the data, you can help optimize working capital. Or in finance, for example, if you have a high level uh, and, and, and incorrect accuracy across your invoices and inquiries, 
a Palantir Foundry can help you to increase your outcomes and your annual collection rate. And these are just a few examples. At a high level, what we're interested in with the Google Cloud Cortex framework is accelerating innovation and outcomes for your business. And we want to hear from you. We want to know what you're looking to solve for, and we want you to help influence our strategy and our roadmap to see even more content across SAP and other data sets and even more use cases delivered to market. If you're interested in getting to know more about Google Cloud Cortex Framework, tune in to our Google Cloud Cortex Framework webpage online or reach out to us directly at cortex-framework at google.com. We're looking forward to hearing from you. And as you heard from Lucia, you can get hands-on today, easily access our data foundation content, and deploy in a matter of minutes and hours. This is incredibly exciting time to be a part of data and analytics. And with our open platform and our accelerators, we're looking forward to helping you achieve more. From myself and Lucia, we want to wish you a very happy event and looking forward to hearing more from you and looking forward to what you're solving for. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.